So hello all. This is Mahesh Panhale, and uh, we'll be learning Veen uh, stack uh, step by step. So in this session, what we are going to discuss is uh, we are going to discuss TypeScript first. So agenda is very simple. We'll uh, we'll learn TypeScript. Then we will be learning uh, Node.js. Then we will be learning uh, Express, and uh, then we will be learning uh, something like Angular. and then somewhere we will try to see data connectivity with respect to a mongodb and mysql so some basics of mongo and some basics of mysql will be there in the session itself so in order to start with uh, typescript today um, what we need to understand is what exactly typescript is uh, why do we need it and uh, the tools uh, then frameworks which are required specifically uh, from the perspective of uh, typescript so as i said agenda is very simple uh, why typescript then tools and infrastructure then the first program in typescript we will create today and then slowly we will uh, like once we understand javascript and typescript synergy then we will try to understand certain features of typescript which is like how do you write class how do you write functions how do you write keywords typical inheritance in case of typescript so what we need to uh, understand now like uh, what exactly or why exactly typescript so we all have seen in uh, certain uh, like prior sessions on the channel that uh, you know working of javascript in general and then we talked about certain versions of javascript standards which we uh, have had so i'm going to use notepad in order to type something so we talked about typical javascript and then we talked about like how javascript represents everything is object so let's say everything is object then we talked about something like op with respect to javascript we all know that while it comes to coding with respect to javascript it's bit like unless until there is a intelligence uh, coding in any kind of editor like notepad vs code for example and then later on we be debugging so people who are uh, like who are more in industry so if we talk from the perspective of let's say uh, object oriented programming so we have people from java background people from c sharp background more available in market compared to or industry compared to people who are working on javascript so when it comes to completely creepy syntax of javascript maybe ecmascript standard 5 or ecmascript standard 6 which we already have discussed uh, about in the previous videos on the channel in web programming so when it comes to writing code with respect to es5 or es6 you will notice it's very uh, it's people who are new to web programming people who are from c sharp and java background they find it very difficult to work with uh, javascript in general so how about this if at all we can have maybe a code or a language in which we will be coding with respect to like c sharp or similar to c sharp similar to java and then that code will be converted somehow into something which is called as ecmascript 6 specific javascript so you will be coding more from the uh, c sharp like perspective or c sharp uh, syntax perspective or java syntax perspective but then what we will have is ultimately at the end of the program we will have a javascript created and that javascript we are free to use uh, somewhere maybe in the browser or somewhere on the server even so uh, again uh, for that purpose what we have is typescript so does it mean that uh, you know you write the typescript and that gets converted into something which is called as javascript absolutely and javascript which is with respect to es6 by default so now when it comes to this kind of a conversion how exactly we are going to go and get a javascript so there is going to be a mediator which is going to go and help us which is going to be something which is called as transpiler which is going to go and translate and ultimately compile the content into javascript what if you are looking for some sort of you can say older version of a javascript standard content in case you are looking for older content then you have some sort of switches kind of you can say just like we have uh, you know when you put a dir command on windows platform then uh, dir slash p a page wise 
uh, visibility of you can see all directories have uh, you know available in particular location you can collect dir slash w dir slash p kind of switches we have similar to that with respect to typescript compilation or transpilation we have certain switches with which you can very well get the javascript in ecmascript 5 or ecmascript 6 other than that in case you are getting ecmascript 6 specific javascript one can very well convert it into some older version of javascript standard with the help of babel engine so we talked about babel uh, in the last uh, video or second last video of the web programming series on the channel so you can explore that later on so uh, now what we need to understand is whatsoever exists in javascript es6 can be generated with the help of let's say typescript so we can call it as typescript is more or less you will find out it's a superscript or it's a superset of javascript which means you can put let's say uh, more or less something like this so language wise when we say is going to be typescript and typescript has a superset which is going to be javascript okay So, whatsoever exists in JavaScript, we can very well write it in TypeScript. And then TypeScript, if we end up writing code, it is going to go and generate the content in uh, JS format, which is going to be ECMAScript 6 specifically. So, now instead of like, you know, we uh, rendering in Notepad, what we can do is we can straight away start with uh, the installations. So, ultimately what we need, we need an editor so that we can type the program in case of TypeScript. Then we need a transpiler which is going to go and transpile or convert the code into something which is JavaScript. And then what we need is in order to run that uh, JavaScript, we will need certain tool. We all know JavaScript works uh, under something like browser. But then what we are going to one plan is a JavaScript we are planning to run, which is, you know, out of the browser. So specifically for running JavaScript out of the browser, what we have is we have node as in you know the the uh, program so ultimately we'll be installing node server or node.js and then which will be uh, which which has something which is called as chrome's v8 javascript engine with it and that's going to one help us run javascript out of the browser okay will there be any kind of limitations that we will have here you will have some limitations like when you run the javascript inside the browser you notice that there are some UI elements that you deal with. Right now, we are talking from the perspective of only JavaScript execution. The JavaScript which has got logic, but which is not going to be dependent on or which is not going to want to deal with any UI elements by default. In such cases, ultimately, uh, the DOM visibility won't be there. The UI elements won't be there. So it's just going to be a JavaScript, just like any other programming language, but without the UI elements into it. So it's going to be a little different than what you and me write down. So uh, some objects, for example, that you may have used in JavaScript, like window, for example, or alert, for example, or getting the elements from the uh, DOM hierarchy using document or get it ID. Certain functionalities are not going to kind of work now. So it's going to be simple JavaScript, which is going to have just a logic uh, written. And that logic is going to go and deal with some console. We'll expect some input from a user. We'll ex we, we will execute some code and we will provide some sort of output over the console. Ultimately, same TypeScript is going to go and help us in long run when we will try to understand how do we code with respect to Node. So uh, same TypeScript is going to go and help us while we code with respect to Angular in that case. So what if I need to deal with something like UI elements? What if I need to deal with some sort of HTML UI? using the TypeScript. So ultimately TypeScript is just going to convert everything into JavaScript and that JavaScript whether or whether that JavaScript can deal with the UI element or not that answer you will get in case of Angular. So in the main session uh, Angular is yet to come. So ultimately we have to finish TypeScript first. So let's do the installation 
uh, with respect to TypeScript.